here is extension to the previous video which I did and this one is is similar but with huge difference and now we are talking about dependent compound probability and we'll try to use tree diagram again to solve the question a bag contains six red marbles four blue marbles Sarah picks two marbles at random from the bag draw a tree diagram to represent this situation and then find the following probabilities so first one is probability of getting two red marbles and the second one is probability of at least one blue marble so overall looks kind of exactly same question but you know there's huge difference and that is mainly because of one thing that is Sarah picks two marbles at random from the bag now when she picks two marbles there is no question of replacing the first one do you understand since the first one is not replaced it is a case of dependent probability right it is of course a compound probability since the events are two two marbles have been picked not just one right so it's a compound probability case with dependent dependent if she picks up red first for example then there will be one less marble with red color and in all total number of marbles will also get reduced by one for the second pick and therefore the probabilities for the second pick will be influenced by the first draw and therefore the second one is dependent on what result you get in the first one so it's a case of dependent probability so that is how there is huge difference between this question and the previous one anyway we'll adopt exactly same method right so this time let me just again draw six red marbles so we have these six red marbles with us and then we're talking about two blue marbles right so let me draw two blue marbles or rather four blue marbles right so we have four blue marbles and as we wrote last time let me write probability of getting red is what so probability of getting red in the first pick is what so there are six red marbles so it is six out of ten right and what is the probability of getting blue in the first pick so probability of getting blue is 4 out of 10 is it okay that is what the situation is or 4 out of 10 for us let's make our tree diagram as we did last time right so that is the first pick and there are two possibilities either Sarah will get blue or she'll get a red marble right now let's try to write down what the probability is to get uh, so I wrote blue with I wrote reverse colors okay <laughs> so let me just change the colors now okay it may create confusion okay so one red and she could get E1 red or blue right that's fine now for red what is the probability for getting red there are six red out of ten so probability of getting red is 0 0.6 and probability of getting blue is 4 out of 10 or 0 0.4 correct now next time when she picks up a marble it could either be red or blue right for both the cases correct so let's write down both red or blue red so it could be red here or blue so blue right now in second time what is the probability of picking red once you have picked red first time that is the question which you need to answer right so that is the tricky part so this is the first case now in the second case what happens let us say you picked one red and that has not been replaced if you don't replace it you pick it up and you don't replace it then how many reds are there one two three four five not six out of how many out of nine not 10 do you understand therefore this probability of picking red here is 5 out of 9 it is not 6 out of 10 and in this case what is the probability of picking blue there are four blues still we just picked a red one so it is 4 out of 9 so it is 4 out of 9 for blue do you get the point so it is a case where the marble has not been replaced and so next time when you draw the marble from the bag 
probability of picking red will be lesser than what was earlier, right? Since one has been already removed. Now, let's take the second branch. Second branch is assuming that Sarah picked a blue one. If she picked a blue one this time, then how many blues are left? Only three out of nine because one has been picked, right? So probability of getting blue in this case is three out of nine. How about red? There are six red still there, correct? So what is the probability of picking red? Probability of picking red will be six out of nine. So that is how the probabilities are going to get influenced when we do two marbles at the same time. Rather, we don't replace the marble and pick up the next one. Okay? Now answer the question. What is the probability of getting two reds? Probability of getting two reds is 6 over 10 times 5 over 9. Do you understand? It's better to write for me 6 over 10 times 5 over 9 for getting two reds. Do you see that? You multiply and simplify them. You can use your calculator and then write down the answer. Well, this is kind of simpler, so we can do this is two times. So anyway, so we do 30 over 90, right? Is one third, so 33 percent, correct? So that's what you get. So it is 30 divided by 90 times 100. So it is one third. So we can say probability is one third. So that is what you get as your probability for picking up two reds. So the answer is. 1 over 3. Now what is the probability of picking at least one blue? At least one blue as you learn is 1 minus 1 over 3, right? Or you can add these together and figure it out. So what should you get here? You should get here 1 minus 1 over 3, right? Which is 2 over 3, right? Or 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3. That is going to give you 2 over 3. So that is the probability of getting at least one blue. So it is 2 over 3 for getting at least one blue, right? So our answers are, in this particular case, that the probability of getting two reds is one third, or you can say 33%, right? You can say approximately 33%. Or you can say probability of getting at least, that is for probability of getting two reds, right? two reds. And the probability for getting at least, that's part A, and part B is at least one blue is 2 over 3 or 66%, right? 66%. So that is how, you know, the answers will get changed from the previous one. So I'd like you to now watch put the videos together and appreciate the difference. So this is a case of compound probability where the events are dependent and since the events are dependent the probability of the second event is influenced by the probability of the first event right therefore we get very different answers i hope you appreciate that thank you and all the best